Yo, what's up YouTube fam? Uh, just another update on the 250SX here. Um, it's gonna look like I'm in the same spot, but I'm really not. Um, I've done a lot to this bike. Really, really, really deep scrubbed it. And um, I'm going through the whole thing and greasing it and finding, trying to find stuff that I forgot to do. And so that's kind of where I'm at. I'll show you around. Okay, so you can tell it looks pretty good from afar. Um, when you get up close, uh, it starts changing a little bit. You can still see the engine cases are a little bit dirty and kind of corroded. And I'm wanting to get in there and get all that cleaned out. Um, I got a complete engine gasket kit, so I'm gonna replace these clutch cover gaskets and stuff because the, uh, the exposed paper stuff's kind of getting grody looking. And I wanna get that cleaned up. Um, swing arm bearings and everything feel good. Then I'm about ready to pull the uh, swing arm pivot and grease that up and I mean, it's hard to see in the camera, but it's just, there's a lot of that red dirt from uh, Oahu still in it. And I really just want to get that out and it's it's being tough. So I'm contemplating pulling the motor. Um, that requires the radiator hoses and all that stuff to come off and, and drained, but uh, I'm gonna do that cover anyway, so I'm thinking about doing that. Fantastic news, I got the swing arm pivot out and it is perfect, there's no corrosion at all. This is a stainless bolt, really good stainless apparently. And uh, everything looks good, nothing was seized up. And uh, that's really good, these things often get uh, water between the motor and, uh, and the shaft and they end up seizing up in there. This one's absolutely perfect condition. It was, it was a little bit dry to get out, but um, everything came out nice and clean. Didn't have to pound apart the threads or anything to get it out used a, a stick for a drift um, I did ruin the little rubber cap but I pounded it inside of it so it's uh, still sealed <laughs> all right I got the swing arm all buttoned up thank God KTM puts good grease in there uh, everything looked good and I know that any of the other people that ever owned this thing uh, certainly never greased it so good job KTM everything is all cleaned up looking good uh, gonna start uh, reassembling it and making it look pretty can't really film this part very well for you, but uh, got the fender installed on the subframe in the airbox and uh, doing the numbers now. All right, so we're one step closer now. Got the subframe installed. Um, tank and radiators and all that stuff are just uh, sitting in place right now, but uh, we're getting a little closer. All right, so that's it for this week on the 250. Uh, next video will probably be a riding video. I'm gonna go riding on uh, Sunday, which is tomorrow. And uh, so you get to see a ride video. I'm gonna ride the 350. And then uh, we'll be back to the 250 on Monday. And we should have most of it buttoned up next week. And then I'll probably do a reveal uh, the following week. So yeah, pretty cool. I'm getting super excited. It's uh, coming out a little bit better. I don't think it's coming out better than I expected it, but because uh, I expected it to be perfect, but it's turning out pretty good, so. Catch you guys in the next video. Aloha.